Hi everyone. I am posting this video to help other people save them uh, the effort of trying to figure things out and be able to get Google Voice on their stereo and to be able to have like an auto redial, a uh, quick favorites touch so that it dials out. Um, the generic dialer on this uh, is very simplistic and find if you have a lot of contacts it's really hard to find the numbers. Um, I've just started it from the start just so you can see uh, how long it takes to boot. It takes a tad longer by doing this but the trade-off being able to have Google Voice and uh, quick dials and uh, voice search on uh, your contacts is as far as I'm concerned uh, well worth it. Uh, anyways it's booting up uh, I, you don't have to do any special um, routing or anything like out, anything else to be able to get this to work. You just need to download four different apps on uh, Google Play and um, go from there. So one of the other things that I have found that has been a little bit of an issue that I've been having trouble with is that it doesn't always uh, connect to my Bluetooth on my phone all the time. Uh, so when you start your car, just always check and see if it's connected. So anyways, here's my home screen. And uh, you can see I have my um, music applications on here. I use iHeart for regular radio stations, uh, the antenna on my car, even before I got this wonderful stereo, which I love now that I fixed it all. Um, the signals would fade in and out and static uh, with the iHeart. Uh, I don't have to listen to all that static. Um, the other thing is is that uh, I forgot what I was going to say but in the meantime let me show you uh, that Google Voice works. Now uh, to be able to use the the word commands uh, you actually have to have this open all the time, and I don't like it opened all the time on my car stereo. But here we go. Okay, Google. What is the capital of California? Sacramento is the capital of California. And there you go. You can see that that works. Uh, so my other option uh, is to have a quick uh, widget connect right here. Um, and I just click on that. What is the capital of California? Its capital is Sacramento. Alrighty, so you can see that that works. Uh, to be able to get this to work, you actually have to download a different home launcher than the one that came with the stereo. So for quick explanation that can help some people, I'm not going into details, uh, just imagine you have a laptop PC and you have Windows and Apple and you can switch back and forth from Windows or Apple. Same concept, but it's still an all, same operating system. So first thing I do is I go to Google Play and you're going to download the first app, Nova Launcher. This is the app that you want to download. Um, I actually got the premium paid for it because I like to have my widgets larger, especially when you're driving. Uh, it's better to have a larger uh, widget. Uh, the second uh, program I download is Google. So then I download this app. Now be aware that I don't like my radio connected to my phone, so you can do mirror link and all that stuff. I actually have a car dongle with internet on it and my stereo is hooked up to that. Um, but either way, if you're using your phone internet or a dongle uh, internet, this is what I did. Uh, if you're wondering about this cool look right here, uh, my friend installed this and I didn't have the uh, uh, face plate. And I actually love this. Believe it or not, this is fuel line uh, piping to a car. It gives it a really cool look to it. Anyways, back to what I'm doing. So uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, 
go to your apps once both programs are downloaded and you are going to want to open up now it has changed it because I've already done the process you're going to want to open up Nova Launcher uh, you're going to want to make sure that once you've done that that you select it as the default home launcher um, once you've done that you're then going to go back to your apps and you are going to open up the Google app which will then ask you to sign into your account um, and then it's going to down uh, download your your phone numbers if you have it on there um, and you get that all set up once you've got that all set up I actually just wanting to make sure because uh, when you do do it without putting the home launcher uh, it crashes your stereo is that I hit the reboot uh, and make sure that once it reboots that everything works um, at that point um, you should be able to put your widget here and um, okay sometimes it lags forgive me what you doing there we go um, and let it reboot make sure everything reboots properly and then you can set up your desktop the way you want put the widgets you want on it um, and so on and so forth um, this is the car stereo dialer that came with the stereo uh, when you hit contacts the only way you can get through your contacts is to scroll it or to uh, do a, a hand typing in uh, when you're driving that is a little inconvenient and you can't do a, a voice control so the next thing I did is you are if you do not have a Google voice account make sure that you get one and get a free telephone number uh, I'm not going to go into the details of it but it's actually really awesome you can do customize customizations on it that are uh, pretty fantastic and and cool so the first thing I do is Google Voice Um, you're going to download Google Voice, set up your account, set up your information, um, and the very first thing you're going to do after that is try and make a phone call. Um, when you go to make a phone call, it's going to ask you which application to use, the generic phone or your car stereo's dialer. You will make sure... Okay, sorry, I'm going to have to cut and splice these videos together. Um, so, as far as the phone setup... Uh, the two programs that you're going to want to download um, is Google Voice. If you don't have Google Voice, set it up. Sorry, that's not where I didn't want to go to Maps. Um, set it up, and um, it's free. You get a new phone number. It actually has some really cool things that you could do with it. Uh, and you can forward the phone calls from that number to any phone you want. Anyways, really check it out. Um, there is a reason why you want to download uh, Google Voice, uh, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Uh, but the other application that you are going to want to download, which I'm hoping that I'm able to get pay for a premium so I can uh, avoid uh, uh, ads, uh, is this tr uh, True Phone Dialer and Contacts. Uh, so you're going to download that and Google Voice and download Google Voice. You're then going to want to go to your home, go to apps, uh, click on Google Voice. Uh, where is it on here? Right down here and set up your information, input your password, all that fun stuff. Um, once you've got it all set up, and if you already got Google Voice and contacts in there, just wait for it to set it all, uh, sync it all up. Uh, you are going to want to make a phone call with Google Voice on any of the contacts that you have in there. Doesn't matter which. Uh, at that point, it's going to ask you which application you want to use to dial out. It's going to be a generic phone or the car stereo's um, dialer, which is this little Bluetooth icon right here. Make sure you pick the car stereo's Bluetooth icon as the uh, default dialer. 
uh, at that point, up to you if you want to continue to use Google Voice or not, um, but uh, it doesn't do all this cool stuff. So, uh, with that other application, you are actually able to do uh, favorites um, and uh, contacts. If you hit contacts, which is a widget, you can actually go up to, um, give it a second to load. Come on, load. Alright, uh, once it's loaded, there's a little mic over here in the corner. You can hit the mic. California Pizza. Oops, sorry. California Pizza. It's going to search my contacts, and there is California Pizza. Now, I have over a thousand because I use this for my business as well uh, which is why I love love this right here um, and then all you do is click on your California pizza and it will dial out I can't do it otherwise it will stop my video and you will not be able to see it uh, the other one is you can create favorites for your quick dial people that you talk to all the time I'm gonna hold the phone upwards a little bit just for privacy sake um, but you can see that there are uh, different uh, quick buttons for each different person. There can actually be photos in there. Um, and all you have to do is touch one of these. It will then go to the car stereos dialer, which connects to your phone, and it makes it the phone call. Uh, when you first load this up, the widgets are really big, so the more you add on, the smaller the widgets are and I didn't like the widgets being that big. Uh, anyways, that is um, how I got Google Voice on my stereo and a better phone dialer uh, with favorites and a, a voice search through all your contacts. Uh, have any questions, feel free to uh, ask on YouTube here and uh, I hope this ha you know helps everybody else. I'm so happy now with my stereo. Uh, it does everything I need and I didn't pay a fortune for it and um, I hope that uh, this helps other people out. Take care.